I think this event uh, affected our staff more than any other, and it motivated us. I think you know a lot of things that uh, uh, came out of that have really propelled us forward. Definitely, definitely changed. Personally, yes, uh, I was working that night. Two of many National Weather Service meteorologists at the Paducah Forecast Office saying how the November 6, 2005 tornado changed technology for good and how tornado tracking and prediction has evolved since this event. We've started something called impact-based warnings. We've really kind of uh, allowed ourselves to ramp up uh, the wording in the warnings uh, to essentially say if we see a major tornado event moving through a populated area where there's considerable risk of loss of life. Dual-pole radar is radar that can detect large pieces of debris being hurled in the air by an actual tornado. What it's really helped is knowing that something is going on in the ground. If this tornado is strong enough, it picks up the debris better than what we could before. And through other fields, we can determine that there's probably a tornado on the ground. Rick Shanklin, National Weather Service Warning Coordination Meteorologist in Paducah, considers the tornado unique and the change it brought to the region, the office, and also how it behaved. First off, there were a couple of uh, satellite, what we call satellite tornadoes along the main tornado vortex. So uh, that was very unique. That's something we very seldom see. Intensity-wise, it was our assignment to make the determination on the intensity. And there were a couple locations that we uh, really toyed with uh, the idea of going into the F4. It was very close. Uh, in the end, obviously, we felt like it didn't quite make it there. Pat Spoden, National Weather Service Science and Operations Officer, was in the office that night and not only recalls what happened, but what changed afterward. That night is one I'll never forget. It's one of those, uh, uh, you know, hopefully once in a lifetime type situations. Many models that now are on the small scale where they're actually developing thunderstorms that we can see. Now, they all have their goods and bads, like a lot of times it'll develop something and maybe it won't occur, but it can give us hints and ideas of this is what might occur. And it may not be in the right location, but here's what it's going to happen and here's what the model thinks. The key is, am I aware of more possibilities? Am I aware of things that could happen? Um, am I ready for it? Am I, you know, physically ready for it? Am I mentally ready for it? And I think that's what, you know, that one has really taught me. From better model data to better now dual pole radar to social media to better more defined warnings mm -hmm. to a major weather radio movement to even awareness of fall severe weather in our area and the sheer uniqueness in some aspects of this tornado, it all changed meteorologists in our community for the better.